1960 Frigidaire Custom Imperial. Six, seven pairs of jeans, seven pairs of work pants. Cold wash and rinse because my hot water side down here is leaking like crazy. Tide. Laundry detergent. This is probably one of the most elusive machines, Frigidaire wise, there are. Very space age design. Piece of indicator tape that goes in here. This is gone. This machine came from Florida, of all places. Don't ask me how or why. Um, it just it ended up being here. I've got to do some more slight adjustment to the fill flume. Um, this machine recently had its water valve rebuilt. An all new tub to pump. Pump to outer hose and then water valve to fill flume hoses changed out. So this old girl's ready to rock and roll. The timer's slightly off. There's a camber adjustment that you have to do. You have to take several screws out and try and adjust it. I've messed with it and messed with it. And it's just being a pain. All the chrome needs to be redone. I painted this just to keep it from rusting anymore. Where it sat, it must have gotten wet at one point or another. And this sat in the laundry room or something where it got direct sunlight. And it just ate this paint alive. First side opening Frigidaire. I finally got the water valve adjustment right. Sorry, I had to check and make sure there wasn't a leak coming from under the machine. I water tested it yesterday. Now it seems to be doing a lot better. Before it wasn't filling at all. It was getting not even to the top of that circulator ring down in there. pretty well with it. This is the Multimatic mechanism. The second year of it, they still offered an 850 spin speed, like the 1959 models. They changed the design of the console, of course, good old Frigidaire. This time you had three different selections, 
so it can wash your load and your your rinse. You get a two-speed mechanism. There's your one speed. Even with one speed, it's still freaking. So that's going to be, since I don't have my indicator, it should be right here. It's delicate, special, or slow on here, so I had to adjust it because I want it to be on my regular white and color fast. And with this, I'm automatically overriding whatever program controls the machine's got. Oh, and those pants are filthy. I'm going to change the oil in this machine later on this week, along with the 59 Custom Imperial. Non-detergent, five-weight oil is what these old girls like. That's what they're going to get. A fellow collector showed me a foolproof way how to change the oil and put new oil in it, so I'm going to test put his uh, method work despite being non-phosphated it does well and phosphates aren't good for these things I found out here recently it helps discolor the rings and helps um, speed up the process of rust anywhere there's bare metal. So I'm going to have to cut the phosphate detergent using, at least in the, in the old Frigidaire machines. Even with seven pairs, it's still rolling it over. Super quiet machine. It'll get even more quiet once I put some fresh, put some modern oil in it. Oils have changed a lot in the last 50 years since this old thing was last being daily driven. So you see the edge of the timer out in the lint away wash. Like I said, that's a little off. I have to do some more adjustments to it. A friend of mine is restoring this so it looks correct. We're going to, another friend's helping get this. We're going to cut it and make it look brand new. I'm going to send all these pieces out to get re uh, chromed. So it'll be fun. I'm excited. And then we're going to put see the way wash. Now this, these machines, the 58 and the 59, I'm not sure about the 61, but I know this, I don't think the 62 did it. Um, the static overflow. So that's kind of fun to watch. And pumping those suds out, you can hear water being pumped out into the drum behind the machine.
static overflow stops and it's getting ready to go into the spin this machine still has its out of balance sensor uh, out of balance switch still connected uh, I want to leave at least several of them still connected that way if I decide I don't want to watch the machine run I can safely go upstairs without having to worry about it catastrophically fail and destroy something the unimatics are a little harder to deal with with that but that's okay Now, it doesn't do the 850 spin speed for very long because it, I would presume, it did, um, they wanted to keep them from setting in wrinkles. Most Frigidaro's were pretty late to the game with the two-speed mechanism, so that's the only reason why, main reason why they introduced the Multimatic. You'll see the circulator ring is in pretty good damn good shape same with this lint chaser this cap is not the one that was on here it was shot and then this energy ring once I decide to pull it out and get that remade I'm gonna have all all four remade and it'll have all my new pieces in it You heard that trip of the solenoid once it moved. Uh, it should be in the first part of fill. A clip or two off on the timer on the gear. And it should overfill pretty nicely. This one's a splashy one. And that ring should match the color of this machine or thereabouts. It's a little bit brighter than the machine, I think. The camera doesn't capture how pretty this turquoise is. These were also rated, I think, to wash nine pounds worth of laundry. I think, spread to eight pounds of the Unimatics. Take it a minute to roll them over. Okay, 
and it starts to go. Once they get moving and turning, it's not an issue. Bit of sun at the top. Not bad, honestly. Pretty, pretty clean rinse water. Sense that suds at the top. Like the roller matics, this is pre-roller matic, so it's basically sh trying to get some of that water out of the tub, pumping some of the water out simultaneously. Then it'll kick itself into high gear. There's a big solenoid that slaps to a clutch and kicks it into into the second speed, and it goes up to 850 RPM. While it's no Unimatic, it is still the fastest spinning top loader. It's still the fastest spinning top loader by far. In 1960, Frigidaire was the king of the spin speeds all the way up through the 1 to 18. Even then, those were still at 660, a little bit faster than Maytag, and over 150 RPMs faster than, about 100, almost 150 RPM faster than Whirlpool and Kenmore. They dropped to 710 with the, mul with the last two year and a half of the Multimatic, late 62 and through 63 and then when they introduced the roller matic they brought back that rapid dry machines that have clothes spun out in a frigid air are on our clothes that are spun out in a frigid air especially a Unimatic, it's really hard to attest, and it's really hard to contest that spin speed. And considering they had this all the way back in 1960, of course this machine probably didn't have a matching dryer. I like the concrete floor a little bit better. Still not great, but better. Alright. It's one pair. Oh, they smell good. The thing 
the worst part of this is since this is kind of bowing down the water gets trapped inside of here except in that final spin they don't like it and it just walked so that's all she wrote cold wash automatic soak and wash soak only normal and small and this one's got a third one but it's kind of jammed I gotta fix that but that's the WCI 60 hopefully you guys enjoy the video Hope, hopefully there will be more machines filmed here in the next couple of weeks please Give me a comment, a like, and a subscribe. Thank you for watching.